What's up guys? Welcome to another container home located in Waco, Texas. be giving you a tour of this tiny house container it is 20 foot long by 8 feet so if my math is correct that is 240 square feet of living space in this container home this container home is very cute and aesthetic they use the space really well and if you're really into container homes or just figuring out how to use a space really well and efficiently or if you just like container homes stay tuned because this tour is gonna be awesome if you want to check out this home on Airbnb I'll leave a link down in the description below and if you want to save for on your next Airbnb adventure anywhere in the world you can sign up using my link down below for that as well if you're new to the channel please subscribe anyway let's just get along with this tour it is located in Waco Texas this place has a lot to offer I can get into that later in this video but whenever you pull onto the property you can tell that there's a lot of other container homes on this property you can check those out as well if you're bringing lots of friends you all can get one and you can all live together in this area and explore an adventure in these container homes this one though is the smallest one on the property so that's pretty cool I haven't seen too many container homes that are just a 20 foot unit so I was really interested to see how they used this so you pull up to the property you walk along this path and you can see your beautiful container home they added wood to the outside of this container which is a really nice aesthetic I think this is the only area I've seen where people add wood to the outside of their container home which is super cool and you can kind of see if you look in between the cracks the container under it these two doors that are just massive windows are the original container doors which are really cool you can open up both of these actually and just really open up the container especially when it's warm out you can open these up but whenever you're done you can close these back up and you can see that there's a little deck on the front and there's an awning up at the top of the deck that sticks out a little bit which is really nice now if you do look up at the top you can see that the entire roof of this container is a deck area which is super cool this is one of my favorite parts of the home I love it whenever they add the deck to the tops of containers or around them I love it so you just walk over here to the right side you got these really cool unique steps you walk up and you get to the deck of your home home it is really spacious and aesthetic I love how they did this you got the chairs right here and the flooring is wood that blends in with the rest of the home really high quality I love it you can look over the back of this and just see the nice trees in the open field and even if you really want to you can pull up your sleeping bag up here and probably sleep out under the stars all night I think it's super super cool now we'll just head back down and we'll walk into this container home. It is really small, so I'll do my best to showcase everything this has to offer. Uh, the first thing you walk into is the living area that is also your bedroom area. It's first converted as the living room area, so you got your couch right here, and it's really close to your TV. It's really small, so it's really fitting with the home, and it's behind these doors right here if you want to hide the TV and leave it nice because sometimes TVs can make places look ugly. Right under that you got some baskets that hold different stuff. You also got the guest book. Now this guest book is pretty unique because it has questions for you and it's the most in-depth guest book I've seen in Airbnb which are very important I think if you're going to the area because you can see what everybody suggests to do in the area and they always leave the best suggestions so you don't have to figure anything out. Highly suggest reading this. And then right under the couch area, you got some storage stuff for whatever you would need. This also converts into your bedroom area. How do you do that? What you do is you take the cushions off of the couch area and you just unbolt the Murphy bed, which is right behind the couch. They have a QR code right here that you can scan that will lead you to a YouTube video on how to do that, which is really cool. It's a nice touch for this Airbnb. So I did that and you just lower the bed right here. It kind of all folds down and it actually lands on the area with the bathroom I was mentioning earlier and you got your full bed right here very unique very nice use of space in this home I thought it was cool I didn't even notice it at first I was like this place doesn't have a bed and I look closer I was like ah oh. It's a Murphy bed, of course. You got to with the tiny home. And then as you continue along, you got your kitchen and seating area. We'll start with the kitchen. It takes up this whole side of this container. The windows really flood in some light, which is nice. You got actually a lot of countertop space, about the same as any other container home I've been in, so it's not too bad. Of course, all the drawers underneath with all the utensils that you would need are nice size sink, and you got two little mini open shelves up here on the back wall for your dishes. You also have a full coffee bar right here and a little mini fridge. And you also have a little stove top if you decide to cook and you got all the cooking utensils as well. 
And then right behind that is your seating area. It is a bar style facing these windows, which is nice. It is all set up for your dinner or lunch or whatever. And there's two seats at the moment for the two of you, because that's probably all you're gonna fit in this area, in this container home. So you guys can enjoy your meal right here. And this area is just decorated nicely. It takes up this whole wall. I like it. Now what really helps this area I think is the walls. They have these white wood walls and that makes it feel really open and bright, which is what you need in a tiny area. You don't want dark and closed, claustrophobic. And also with the roof, they have these wooden beams that really add depth to this home. So this doesn't feel like you're in a box. It is nice. Also, the flooring is done up really nicely. And yeah, that's really all you can do in such a tiny area like this. And then the last part of the home is the whole back section right here. You got the sliding barn door, so you don't waste any space trying to open and close the door. You can just slide it open and you got your full bathroom now. This bathroom's not tiny at all. It's not like a camper bathroom or something like that. On the left side, you got your full shower. I mean, you could fit two people in here if you had to. I'm just saying that for a reference of how big it is. It's really nice with this tiling and the black accents. Super cool and on the right side of course you got your sink and toilet and on this wall right here you got shelves of all the amenities that they include if you didn't bring anything related to your bathroom necessities they have it provided all right here for you which is amazing for an Airbnb hotels don't even do that they provide everything which is super cool and there's also a window of the bathroom which just adds that little extra dimension it doesn't feel like you're in a cage or a cell so that is a great touch as well thank you for watching this video uh, if you plan or ever desire to build a container home highly suggest saving this video and checking out how they do it and use the space because using a small space the most efficient way possible and the most comfortable way possible is definitely an art form and I think these guys did it very correctly so like I said in the beginning of the video this is located in Waco Texas this is my new favorite destination I've ever been to actually Texas is great especially Waco uh, if you watch fixer upper it's where Chip and Joanne are and the Magnolia silos in that whole district is amazing I would highly suggest checking that out that is the number one reason why people have come here according to the Airbnb book that I just mentioned that is why people come also there's a homestead farm I'll leave it right here for you guys but it is literally in walking distance from these container homes you can walk to it and it feels like you just took a step back in time to the 18 or 1700s they have blacksmith buildings they have pottery buildings and people actually still live there and work like that and they let you tour the area just freely it's all paved and really nice and it was super calming experience and really enjoyable to be out in nature and see all that it's so cool i really liked it a lot also, the downtown Waco is amazing. Or another cool thing is the Branch Davidians compound. Now, if you don't know what that is, that was a cult that was sieged by the FBI in 1993. It was like a month and a half standoff, and at the very end of it, the cult decided to burn their whole compound down and burn all themselves to death. There's like a hundred of them, I think. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I went to the compound and it was a really neat thing to go check out and it's located right here, really close to Waco, Texas. And yeah, if you're interested in that stuff, definitely check it out. So if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment what your favorite part was mine is definitely the deck on top of this container I of course I love being outside that is my favorite it's done really nicely leave a comment what yours is subscribe and share this video with somebody that you'd want to take here with and plan a trip out here to come do it with them share it with them share on Facebook it means a lot to me and it helped me out a lot if you have a container home or any Airbnb or any home that you live in or whatever it is and you think it is unique and it deserves to be shown off shoot me a message down below i'll leave a link in the description send me some photos and we can go on from there anyway guys thank you for watching this video i will have another container home next week so stay on the lookout and yeah i will see you guys next week hallelujah let's not get rained on